Amen. How you guys doing today? My name is Thomas, Thomas Salazar, and I'm um, here with my brother Robert Reyes. We are uh, just talking about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we just wanted to share a few words. Um, one of the scriptures that I wanted to share real quick with y'all is Hebrews chapter 10, uh, verse 22. The scripture says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us draw near with a true heart and with full assurance. Um, you know, our God has given us a plan through his word so that we can come and we can approach fully understanding that we are forgiven, that we have been given a, a free gift of, of mercy and grace so that we can have everlasting life and live eternally with our Father. But not just in heaven, but here on earth. He has promised that we will have blessings on earth as they are in heaven. And that all comes by an understanding an understanding of who our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. And it comes by studying His Word. And so I just want to encourage the body right now that if you're going through anything right now, that, that you would lean on His understanding, that you would seek the Word of God and, and receive what He has for us. And that's the full assurance of what He has gifted us through His Son, Jesus Christ, to have a relationship with our God as we believe in what He has done. Um, the encouragement today is only... Read his word. It's the bread of life. As we nourish our souls with this word, uh, we will be blessed because he has promised it that through his word, he will light our path and he will give us an understanding of the direction that we should take each and every day. And that day is the day that he has made for us. And so as we receive and understand this knowledge that he has blessed us with the day, we should rejoice and we should be glad. And as we are thankful for what he has gifted us with, uh, the love starts to flow and we can have relationships with our brothers and sisters in this world and have peace start to flourish It's only through his love that that peace can manifest itself And I know there's a lot of things going on right now with with our country and with the world um, That there is just no peace uh, There's no clarity. There's no understanding of what's going to happen for people's families and that's very concerning and so if we really care truly care about what's going on in our country, truly care about what's going on in families and in the lives of people that are oppressed and hurting, then we will seek first the kingdom of God. And we will get clarity and understanding about what his love is really meant for, to bring peace on earth, just as it is in heaven. So my brothers and sisters, I ask right now that you would go right now and that you would open up your word and you would seek the gospel like never before. You would seek an understanding like never before because it is of the utmost importance if we want to have what God has gifted us, and that's his love. In Jesus' name, you guys have a blessed night, and we'll see you soon.